Hello everyone, welcome to your mid-month reading, March 15th to the 31st. Before I begin, I have a quick announcement. The giveaway is still going on, the Keepers of the Light, this deck I'm giving away this month, so do comment if you want to enter the competition. Do follow me on Instagram for daily readings, sometimes I do upload there, okay, not always because obviously I have a lot of personal readings and the YouTube, but um, you can follow me there and if you need a personal reading you can go to my website, it's showing now my website and also in the description below this video you can uh, find all the links that you need and also my email address if you want um, help to choose which one is best for your situation. The Bring Back X, the Love and Career Reading and the How He or She Feels About You is on sale at the moment. You can check that out on the website, okay? So let's now begin with your sign. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing and leaving your comments. Also helps for your sign to be first next time so do do leave a like and this is a general reading so let the reading play it may be messages by the end for your situation there's a lot of situations so keep an open mind let it play and take what it is for you okay also use your intuition thank you so much and let's now begin with your sign Hello Sagittarius, welcome to your reading. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs for mid-month, March 2020, 15 to the 31st. There is a conflict here. Could be involving another fire sign. Fire or air sign. Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, especially. Aries or Gemini. Nine of air. And the four. So there's worries here of starting something new, taking a leap of faith. You've got the magician, so he's telling you that you're ready. But you're afraid maybe... Um, okay, there is maybe a lot of uh, young, the younger generation, or if you have children, there is a lot of um, activity right now in your home, maybe um, family members, the five of fire, it's other people. And with the page, could be a young, uh, younger, younger people or young fire sign that you're dealing with. A younger fire sign, um, especially the emperor, uh, the magician, <laughs> could be the emperor, yes, um, Aries or Gemini. Let's see what this is. Yeah, look, Gemini. And the love is reversed. So we've got the world and the love is reversed. This is what's crossing you. You want a, a new beginning, but then you have to you have to make a better decision to do with with everyone involved. So for you to have this new this new um, new cycle. Especially with the person that you're involved with, okay, your lover, your partner. Mm. What's crossing is cheating. So one of you may be having a third party situation here. In the near future, there is reconciliation though. I also see a loss. Uh, in terms of money, where it comes to a partnership in your career. This is forgiveness. Some of you, will, yeah, you see the emperor was going to come out anyway. 
is reversed. So one of you may not be giving in, maybe difficult at this time or being stubborn about um, recovering from this heartbreak. Okay. And even accepting someone back after one has made the wrong decision in terms of partnership, okay, lovers. The lovers reverse is cheating. You could have made the wrong choices or you could have made the wrong choice of uh, realizing that you made the wrong decision or they did, okay. Vice versa, the energy is could be vice versa. Sagittarius, mid month. Yeah, look, sneaky behavior. And there is also a lot of pride here, too. To make a move, to make a decision. Yeah. Things are not really, it's not really the right time for you to act on something here. The Six of Wands. Yeah. Some of you need to narrow down options. You're getting a lot of attention, or this person is getting a lot of attention, and they need to make a decision between two, but they're not acting on that, or you're not doing it. The Two of Cups, I feel there is a strong soulmate. You could be dealing with a soulmate and a twin flame. You have a soulmate and a twin flame here. You may be confused. Oh, wow. Look at this. Ten of Cups. You may have family with someone you want to reconcile because of the family. And look, you're going to be ready to cut out whatever is um, interfering with your happiness. The happiness of this relationship. The devil. It's trying to stay away from temptation. And I feel whoever, if it's someone that has been tempted and it's not you, um, the devil is reversed. So they're definitely cutting out, cutting out um, the addictions, the temptation to follow this, um, follow the crowd I'm hearing. Someone is following the crowd. But um, with judgment and the page of swords, judgment is reversed. So you're waiting to make a decision, a final decision in cutting someone out of your life or cutting that third party out of your life. There is sneaky behavior in, in your emotions. You feel that someone is being um, dishonest. Or you're hoping that you're wrong. You're hoping that, yeah, you're hoping that you're wrong. Could be a Pisces being sneaky. The Six of Cups. There is something from, from the past, okay? Someone from their past or someone from your past. The fool is a free spirit, carefree attitude as well. Um, not caring. Not giving a damn. Yeah, the princess of swords. So it could be someone that wants to be free and is young or wants to be, you know, wants to live this, um, they have a youthful spirit. The 
This is a message and the Princess of Cups. Okay. So they could be rejecting you, someone, especially the male. I'm hearing that the, the, the male um, being rejected. Yeah. By this female. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Or you, if you're a female, you're the one who's rejecting this, um, you know, could be any sign. There's water, fire. But you're communicating, communicating and you're angry. I see there's, um, there's a lot of arguments here. Okay, now the Wheel of Fortune is moving so you need to really check this person you know put them in their place I do see some of you have two daughters you got two pages two princesses princess see water and air or uh, two daughters Okay, yeah, but you have um, the Two of Cups and the Emperor, not the Emperor, why am I keep saying, I keep saying the Emperor, could be a father, the father of your children, okay, or the father of their children. So we've got the Taurus. For the ones that are dealing with the Taurus or Virgo Capricorn, the King of Pentacles, uh, there is an uncommittable person here. They don't want to commit. Maybe because of an earth sign or maybe this is your earth sign that doesn't want to commit. Okay, so now we've got a princess and a prince. Some of you are a boy and a girl. There's children. And with the Ace of Cups reversed, it's like giving up on this, um, on this relationship. Not talking to each other, giving up on the relationship. So for some of you, it's not the right time to start anything new or make a, make a decision here until things are balanced because even to act on the separation for good divorce because things can be healed balanced with an Aquarius or a Libra so Libra or Aquarius you have Sagittarius you have here um, they're not acting. It's not the right time for you to do anything at the moment. That you may really say the wrong thing or do the wrong thing. Prince of Wands. Yeah. They're messing around. I do see, or, or you are. You got the four ones reversed, so that someone is really not committed. They want to end the conflict with you. There is this light-hearted attitude that they have or you have towards this, you know, this relationship, the giving and learning unrequited love so in the long long term long term you need to have a, a heart to heart conversation because some of you are experiencing unrequited love so you need to really have that discussion others of you you have um, releasing the past someone that didn't love you right okay 
and children could be affecting your relationship or um, deception here children deception and you deserve love some of you you want to be married you want to be involved with this person in a committed relationship um, but You, you, they doing this just because you have children together and they're deceiving you outside, they're seeing other people outside this marriage, this relationship. And for some of you, um, it's, um, they're still seeing, they're being quite immature. I had that that feeling that you know the fool someone is being immature uh, they, they're deceiving you and it's really not the right time for that commitment because look separation they're not ready you may be and they're not or one of you is not ready so that's why the balance here needs to be restored, but it's not the right time now. And it's not the right time for you to do anything, um, anything right now about this relationship. Just, let's see. Avoid more conflict because I feel that they, they have that fool. Everything is okay, don't worry easy does it so taking it slow don't stop trying so hard to control everything and all the doors will open up for you you see you just need to go with the flow connect with nature rejuvenate and emotional healing at this time that needs to happen okay winter months will your praise and affirmations are fully realized in the winter months Okay, so be yourself, business venture. So maybe by the end of the year, some of you will have this uh, new business idea. That you, you see, this is a this is an idea. This is a new business. Yes, if we're talking about where is it? Where is the wand? <laughs> Where is this wand? It was somewhere here. It's here. Yeah, it's not the right time to start anything. You see, the partnership could be business or a new business that you um, want to start. This career opportunity or business idea is telling you winter. We, we're going into spring, so... Maybe some of you are already seeing the results, but this, the Ace of Wands reverse could slow down th things with uh, the wheel reversed. So it may slow things down. Um, even though, take it easy, okay? Easy does it. So by winter, you'll see more results or the results that you wanted. All right, so Sagittarius, all the best, okay? Thank you so much. Bye-bye.